are actually in like the Star Wars outpost of Disney Springs. It is a very, very, oh, excuse me, very, very tiny shop in here. But it's set up pretty cool. So this is the back side of like the window there. They've got like this little trunk, some flags, shirts. This is, uh, oh, look at that, the acrylic, the layered acrylic. So they've got quite a few things in here. They've got gift cards and pins and uh, phone cases. They've got Crocs. So they have the silver Crocs. Do you see these? Silver Crocs? Star Wars socks. They've got quite a bit of the Grogu merch. Um, again, it's just kind of a really cute thing. They've got the uh, the lounge fries. So, and then they've got costumes and of course the um, little plushes. So cute. Okay, and so that is, if you're looking for this, this is the Star Wars Galactic Outpost. It's down by Disney Style, and it is past like the Coca-Cola Company and Planet Hollywood and things like that. If you're coming down through there, they do have lightsabers and other items like that. And then you have Marvel Superhero Headquarters, which is the very next little store. These are all very small stores, just know that. So there's very many people in there. It could very easily be a way to go in. They have the Loki years in there, $29.99. And they have, I'm gonna walk in here for a second. They do have like Black Widow up on the screen right there. I also have some of the Loki uh, treats at Ganachery, or they did. We haven't been into Ganachery yet. We have actually just been kind of checking out everything. They have some really cool posters up here. Look at that jean jacket, it's Marvel. It's pretty cool. The jacket is $79.99, so 80 bucks. Not all superheroes wear capes. This is the um, shirt from WandaVision. This Vision's shirt is um, it's his Halloween shirt and his uh, costume shirt. They have several other things, including ears that are Marvel. The uh, food trucks are over there. There's mac and cheese. There's the um, hot diggity dogs and cantina, Four Rivers Cantina. And then we come up to Candy Cauldron. Candy Cauldron has been around for at least 10 years now. And it is always so cute and it smells so good. So these are like the specialty apples that you can get. I'm just kind of like doing a vision from the outside right here. You can see like the Mickey ears. And those ears are actually made out of marshmallows and then dipped. So we're going to go in here and give you an idea on what it looks like in the store. When you walk in, you're going to see the witch and the apple. And they've got cookies, like just the sweet cookies, character cookies. Uh, they've got tins with the Mickey shortbreads, or $8.99. They've got some of the little shortbread cookies, as well as uh, like the trail mix, snack packs, and things like that. So you walk in and they have little... They have mints. Buy one, get one. Buy one, get one mints. Okay. And how much are they a package? $4.99. So two fifty, dollars and you can get two yeah. different ones. One is teacups and the other one is They're just the Mickey and Friends. Oh, sorry. Is that like They've a got Dumbo one. Pirate design. They've got pair dispensers, other candy snacks, sour snacks. They've got popcorn. They have where you mix your own Skittles and candy treats, things like that. Then you can see over there is actually like the snack case. They've got cupcakes and the apples and cookies. They've got a, looks like they have a rainbow, um, right over here, there is a rainbow, um, Rice Krispie Treat right there. It's kind of big covered and then dipped in the rainbow sprinkles. And they got macaroons on the bottom down there, as well as other kinds of cookies. 
So this is, they actually make these uh, kinky apples and stuff here. So these are like the kinky apples that they make. There's chocolate and all the mini M&Ms and the, the, mini M &Ms and the sprinkles. They have chocolate boxes, tins, and then chocolate treats and cookies. This is definitely a really cool place to come into. It has some really cute things. If you look up above, that's one of the things I love about these stores around here. There's so much theming involved. So if you come in to Disney Springs, definitely check out the Candy Cauldron. Okay, so as you come out of Candy Cauldron, you look down through here and you will see like the sunglass icon. Or, yes. And then, um, Haley, uh, soccer, uh, Yale soccer, sorry about that, not really sure, that's a different one, I haven't seen it before, um, they definitely have some walls up over here, where it looks like they are fixing to be building something, so, if you know what's going there, please let me know, Sosa, Family Cigar Company is now open, and this side is closed now. Mm, not sure what's going up here either, but it looks like they're getting ready to build something. They've definitely taken something down. I currently cannot think of what was here. This is the AMC Theater. So, I don't know what was in that part of the building. As you can see, that actually sticks out a little bit. So, it definitely was an additional building there. Um, we are down at Yalu which is uh, the Jose Andres place. And that is the uh, Everglades Donuts. There's Splitsville, which is Luxury Lanes. Splitsville is the place that is supposed to have um, one of Orlando's top sushi places. Um, actually, after several reviews it actually has a number one review by many many people in the orlando area which to me is crazy because splitsville is a bowling alley so you really don't really think of bowling alleys and um sushi but uh, it has one of the number one rated sushi places okay and then we're this is pepe and then we're at the brand new uh, m and place. So in November, they were currently building it and it is now open. So, y'all wanna go in there and look? I do! <laughs> okay, so they actually have a place over here where you can take a selfie with m and if you would like. And welcome to m and &Ms. So m and at Disney Springs has um, Quite a bit of like custom type things you can do in here. I know you can get M&Ms with words and pictures and things like that um, in here. And um, different items. There's a shopping bag for here so you can come in. They do have a sign up that says masks are encouraged but not required. So, um, and it is fairly packed. <laughs> I'm right over here at the very front when you first walk in. You can see that they have shirts for each of the colors of the rainbow of M&M. So you can get some that have words on them. You can get some that are basically just the colors. You can get tins that have specific colors of M&Ms in there, as well as the Mickey red, black, and white. They also have rainbow things going on over here. I'm not sure if they had these when they first opened or if they brought these out for June for Pride Month, but they are very cute. They have kids and adults in these, and they have quite a few different um, to choose from. This one is the black hoodie, which is not an actual sweatshirt. It is a t-shirt hoodie but for $34.95. And then the ringer, I love ringers. These ringers are running $24.95 for the white ones. So I do love the ringer shirts. I just don't love a white ringer shirt. I don't know. It just has to do with sometimes white is see-through. Especially if you get caught in the rain or something like that. So, you know, I, I just prefer something other than white. Usually like gray or something like that is a good color. 
These actually look like they are 3D. They are magnets. So that one is cute. These are like the caramel M and Yum. These are $6.95. Peanut butter and then the regular chocolate. And then this one is the peanut. And then of course the individual ones. I also have the thing set over here. It says it can start at $2.95 and go up. So they have a six set of the different tins. They have iron on patches. Ornaments. They have quite a few ornaments. I actually was not expecting this. $7.95 for the ornaments. And they have quite a few of them. Um, they're pretty much a lot of light, but like this one is $12.96 for the stocking. I kind of like this one personally. I like this snowflake. It's $12.95 also. It does have the pastel colors basically on it, which I wish they were more of the vibrant rainbow colors. And then this is the um, snowman, which is also $12.95. This is the wreath, which is $12.95. And we just will look at the last one, which is the present, and it is also $12.95. And then you have the uh, three deep ornaments, which are running, um, gosh you guys, these prices are so small, that's $9.95. So it's really crazy that with the naked eye, me trying to look through, I can't see, so I have to get up really close sometimes to see what they are. They have hair accessories, and then you have, um, the keychains and more magnets, shoelaces. They have shoelaces and tubes. You can actually buy several colors of shoelaces um, at one time, as well as like lanyards and wristlets and things like that. Here are some more ornaments, more of the three D salt ornaments, which are cute. Here are. I'm gonna say that it's a keychain. I would be really nervous that I would break that, that it's hanging like that. These are more of like the keychain styles with the wristlets on those. Those are cute, nice. It says that the keychains and magnets start at, nine, at $5.95 and go up. I like this one too, the American flag. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here on a lot of the little things. But if you're looking for stuff like this, they have a lot of the uh, pride stuff that's going on here. A lot of the candy mixes and uh, different designs. They also have a lot of clothing, tumblers, cookies, um, candies put together, candy dispensers. If you collect things like cinnamon and candy dispensers, this would definitely be the place to go for candy dispensers because they have all kinds of them here. They also have, if you buy $50 or more, you can get a character blanket uh, for $5. So that is probably a very good price. Depending on what you're looking for, there's a lot of baby stuff, and it looks like they have a lot of the kitchen stuff back there also. This place is packed, so we're fixing to get out of here, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea as to what um, they have in the M&M store. Do you know that m for the first candy in space in 1981? There you go. Fun fact about M&M's. So this little fun fact is actually on a magnet, and it is... $5.95. There you go. First candy in space. And so she found a patch. She collects patches and it says. <laughs> they all say something funny on them, so I chose the most appropriate one. Okay, there you go. Okay, so when you come out of the MM store, um, you see House of Blues just across from there. It's a restaurant. It has lots of. Uh, merch in there and it has a lot of details and decorations around the U.S. for being known for their blues. So, so go down past here. This is City Works, the NBA experience. It is a bar and a restaurant as well as a store. And then right here in front of us, this huge building is Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil uh, is currently, it looks like it is open um, or getting ready to open AMC Theater. So one thing about the AMC Theater is they are definitely promoting Cruella right now at Disney Springs. So 
thing that this is Disney Springs and Cruella is a Disney movie. That makes sense. So, they do have other movies going on as well. Looks like uh, Peter Rabbit 2 and a few other ones. Let's we'll see what we can catch up here as we walk by. I think they have probably eight movies in here. Hitsman's Bodyguard, the F9 Fast and Furious movie, um, Cruella, The Conjuring, In the Heights, and Spirit Untamed. So they do have, uh, it looks like around eight movies at a time going on here. Over this wall, you can see the um, hot air balloon that you can go up in. Pretty sure that it is currently closed could be due to the fact of the weather. It could also be uh, COVID related, so not really sure um, if we see any information about that. I will let you know. I'm really curious to know what they're building behind the walls. So I feel like there's probably some information out there. I just don't actually currently have that. This is the Sunglass Icon. This is where they have the exclusive Ray-Ban Disney sunglasses. If you are looking for those. I know those are only sold in a few places. And that is one of the few places that carries them. So, coming back by Marvel Superheroes Headquarters and Star Wars. On the opposite side is the big Starbucks. So, when you come into Disney Springs, depending on which garage you park in, or if you do self-parking out in the lot, there is another Starbucks on the other end, which is just an outside um, walk-up and grab your drink area. This is the only Starbucks building. So, if you are looking for Starbucks, they have two in Disney Springs. Now, as we go back by Disney style, they do have clothing and things like that in there. This is a very small version of World of Disney, which we are actually going to go back by here in just a little while. They have Sunshine Churros over there, and which is just a little, little uh, area. And every once in a while they'll do things. So right across here from the churro place is where there is actually one of the uh, Christmas trees if you do the tree stroll during November, December time. So this is actually the bridge. We haven't been on the bridge today to show this. So coming from um, Blitzville or um, Cirque du Soleil, there is actually a bridge here you can walk over and see like the actual water that goes into the lake. You can see this water is not very clear and it does have a fountain. So if you go to the other end, which we will in a little bit, you will see that that water is very clear and blue. That one is what is known as the springs of Disney. So just know when you see the dark water, that is part of the lake and the blue water is their man-made springs. This is Maria and Enzo's. It is a seafood and grill restaurant. Not eating there. So they also have pizza and pasta. So if you've eaten there, you can leave a comment and let me know. This is another restaurant over here. Steak. So um, they basically have steaks and salads. You have the Edison. And this is like an old power and light building. It's quite obviously a restaurant there as they have outdoor seating. And so if you are looking for something like this, can they have that? Paradiso 37. It's another, it's like a bar on the outside. I do believe they actually have food in there as well. Um, I'm not positive about that. Let's see if I can find a menu on that one also. Art of Shaving. And then this another store. Uh, 
This is still the Paradise Ho 37th of Taste of Paradise. We're going by the cement store on the other side. This is the Ganachery. This is the Ganachery. It's a chocolate shop, and they actually do have um, like themed desserts and stuff. They are supposed to have one in here for Loki. So let's go in here and see what they have. Hello. Okay, they have like a little Mickey pop here in the dark chocolates. They have the housemate s'mores, the coffee punch, and then they have quite a few of the little ganaches. They have a Mickey ganache as well. And they make everything in here also. So the homemade s'mores is $8.50. And then you can buy the ganache. $3 a piece or a box of six for $16, nine is $10. And then you have beverages to choose from there as well. So they do have quite a bit in here, but right now it just seems like they don't have just a ton. What is this little Mickey pop over there on the end? They normally do have a specific item for different things and so Okay, so we're gonna go over here and look as well. You can actually see where they're making it in here. So you can see each one of the ganache um, are actually made by hand. Here is the sample in a brighter light of the s'mores. And then the chocolate pops are running $6.50. They do have the Fretcher Timeline for Loki, which is $7. They can have crunchy chocolate pearls for $6.50. The ganache mug is 14 Um The chocolate coffee crunch with croutons is only 11 The little bag. Mixed fairy ganache is six fifty, and then then we have the Millennium Falcon pops for seven. The chocolate covered marshmallows are eight fifty, and then the Mickey chocolate pops are six fifty. You go out of the ganachery, um, you will find that um, Sasaragua is across the way. Oakley is next door as well as Savannah B Company. We're back to Gideon's, which is where we went first thing and got cookies. The Jack, uh, Jock Lindsay's Hanger Bar is right here. So cool looking. And then you're over to Wine Bar George, which also has the basket outside. So you can... Um, go through and you can see so many different things it's so much to look at while you're here there is no doubt you're going to miss something while you're here as I'm sure with me showing everything to you I am still going to be missing something uh, Vivolio Gelato they have sweet treats for different times, they also have the personalized latte art. They are featuring uh, Mickey, Minnie, the Disney characters, plus um, you can do a personalized photo. So if you're into things like that, this would be a cool place to go. Uh, okay, there's Habaniatas. Habaniatas. Get it here in a minute. They have shoes in there if you're looking for a foot fault, chocolate hat, has different kinds of hat matches. Okay, so after going by the hat shop, you'll actually find, find the Florida citrus, um, the um, citrus bird. There is a wall for photos. Happy Hound is for dog toys, dog accessories, um, and then just dog items for yourself, like things like um, socks and stuff like that. Oh, to the other side you see Carolina's, which is the Italian restaurant. And they also have a thing over there that is like the spinning metal art. 
I see a castle, one of the Disney castles. Then we have cuttlefish and Wonder Maze, which is gourmet marshmallows, as well as Pop Gallery, which some really cute little paintings and stuff in there. Then we're going to cross over another small bridge, which is going to bring us back to T-Rex. This is the outside of T-Rex, and this is that spring I was actually talking about with the blue water. So this is actually the man-made spring for Disney Springs, and it looks very blue in green color. You can see all the coins in there. People have dropped over time to make wishes. Then you can see we're at T-Rex, and you can see the outside part. Here's the back of the uh, paddle boat. It's really pretty. Um, it actually has a big paddle boat. Don't worry about so it. there's T-Rex. You can see on T-Rex that there's the menu up here. There's a skeleton, things like that. And then um, we can... So this is the front of T-Rex if you're wanting to come here. And it does have the menu and stuff outside. And so that's that. Okay, so this is the side of T-Rex, and then we're back to Indiglo, and then over beside Indiglo is the Lego store. So, earlier when we went by Lego store, there was not very many outside. Just like you know, that is the line to enter the Lego store. Yes, it is forever long. It goes around the front by the lake. So... This is the side of Indiglo. This is actually where you enter Indiglo. And then we are we have Harley Davidson's, Volcom, Levi's, Emirates, and World of Disney in front of us. Okay, so now we're actually gonna go into Emirates and see what they have in here. Emirates is a Gosh, they have eggs. Look at these dome cakes. So they have the Mickey smaller dome cake, which is not small by any means, for $59. And then they have these giant dome cakes, Mickey and Minnie. Then they have the Loki lemon chiffon cake. It's $9. So as they have other things like the Mickey and Minnie white chocolate and that. And they have the tea cakes and things like that. So if you want to know, it's like they do have drinks in here that are like wine or champagne and sparkling wines and things like that. So they do have like savory in here as well as um, the small chocolate chiffon cake with dark chocolate mousse, raspberry chocolate. Um, that's one of the 22, and then the Emirate Petite. They have the Mickey Dome. They also have some other ones down through there as well. There is a line, so if we want to get one. We're definitely going to have to get a line to get one. You can see them back here making the different treats and so forth that they do have. I think I'm going to actually wait on this and maybe come back right before we leave. At four Disney. You first walk in, they have Pride merch and Stitch and the Baby. They have lots and lots of cute, cute, cute little baby merch. So if you are looking for stuff, they definitely have it. This is the place that if you are looking for something Disney, this is where you need to be. So, um, they have so much to choose from. So many Mickey ears, headbands, or headbands normally run now about $29.99, depending on which they you get. Most of them in the Disney stores are running $29.99. The purple, which I'm not sure what this one's called. Maybe this one is the lavender. Not sure. They did have purple potion before. This is lilac, which has the flower look on top. She has found a rain hat with the dogs and cats on it, it looks like. Cheshire cat, anyway. Oh, yeah, that's no, a other cats. It has Aristocats. And how much is the rain hat? $30. $30 for the rain hat. The collection is cute. 
they have shirts and hats and art and here's some more of like the ear headbands and watches purses so they definitely have a lot of stuff now we're looking over here at like star wars mandalorian lounge flies which are cute puppy tails or the disney tails which is the dog merc four dogs um so they have like the puppy bags and purses and toys and ears and stuff like that over here i'm actually seeing a hat for people member. i've not seen that one before and so there's even like indiana jones and here's the cats one it's like the dogs stuff collection there we go cute cute to it so they do have like the Walt Disney World phone cases, there's Mickey, there's Mickey and um, Walt. These have pop tabs on the back of them, or the pop sockets. These are by Otterbox. And so, I thought we would see if maybe they had a semi dog, but I don't see Lady and the Tramp anywhere. I love my Disney dog. That one has Pluto. No. They do have quite a few ornaments, like the 2021 ornaments. These are running $24.95 for the ornaments. And they are normally all priced about the same. They have Mickey luggage. If you're looking for like the Mickey luggage, they have some little whatnot type things just kind of sit around. They have the picture frames. Picture frames are running $24.99. For like the Pinocchio, like the original Dizzy, it's kind of like the ink and paint collection. It is definitely ink and paint. It's got paint brushes on it. And these are the donut collection. And then we got like mini, and we have the blue ears, the black and white velvets. We have the uh, in, the ones with the sparkles inside, red and black, mini ears, mini bow ears. Oh my goodness gracious, they just keep going and going. Here's like the velvet blue, um, the Americana we will show before. There's like a stitch. There's like a stitch uh, headman with the ears, the purple and the pink. Then we go over to, these are like uh, Halloween. Theme. These are actually thirty nine ninety nine. I believe maybe it's because these are leather. They appear to be leather or leather like. I'm not sure if it's real leather, but these are all thirty nine ninety nine over here. Not the ones that were on the wall, but the ones that are over here. The um, sequin ones are running. No price on them. They are running the $29.99 according to the ones that I've been seeing. There's some more of the purple and the black. They have green and they have a burgundy. They have ones that look like the um, Mickey balloons and those light up. And then they have the pink and white polka dot with the gold bow. And then they have these that are rainbow.